Well, hello, my pretties. This is Work of Excellence TV. I just thought I would chime in, not even knowing if I'm going to use this video to put on my channel. But I've come so far on my channel, and it's so hard for me to bounce back. I've been trying. I've been putting out little TikToks and putting out videos and trying to smile for the camera. When I know right now, just don't want to smile. I'm not happy. I feel depressed. And I'm just starting to know that it's depression. I say I'm okay, but I'm not okay. I've been through a lot in the last three months. I thought when I put out my video of me retiring and being happy, that I thought that's what was going to happen. I didn't know so much was going to happen in my life in such a small amount of time. And I say what did I do to deserve this? I don't use people. When I come up, people I love come up. I'm such a giving person, even though I don't receive it back. I'm just not happy. I pretend every day. You could call me an actor that just doesn't get paid. Because I have to act and pretend. Because people think when you've been through something that you're supposed to bounce back because they think it's time for you to bounce back. You got to bounce back on your own time. It's a lot. When I retired... Not no more than a week and a half, I end up in a hospital in pain and didn't know what was wrong with me. My appendix, hernia, then I tried to recover from that, couldn't really do much. At the same time I'm recovering, I'm gaining weight because I can't do anything but sit down, watch movies and eat. Can't work out. Couldn't even walk around too much. Couldn't lift anything heavy. So, before I know it, I'm gaining weight. Now, that's just another thing to be unhappy about. And then I was like, all this time that I've recovered, I could have used all that sick leave that I gave away. That I lost. They paid me like 25%, 30% of it, but all the time I was at work. This is what I was sick with. Didn't know where all the pain was coming from. Then I lose somebody special in my life. I had to get past that. Then now I have this sciatic nerve. That every time I try to do a video, it's so exhausting and it hurts so bad when you have nerves in your body that just can't let you be great. Just to get dressed is a whole nother ball game in my life. So I haven't been kicking out the videos that the people come to my channel to see. So I just been throwing out little cooking videos and stuff because I don't want my channel to go dormant, you know? But that's not what you want to see. You want to see the clothing hauls. It's just tough for me right now. I'm getting to see a lot of what my depression is. Why am I going through what I'm going through? But today I want to get my life back.
I want to push myself to do the things that I don't want to do. I can't keep sitting in this corner. Where you see me sitting, this is my favorite corner. This is where I sit and the depression starts. I don't want to talk to people because I don't need people to tell me, you're going to be okay. You got to get past it. No, I get past it when it's time for me to get past it. I can't get past it because you think I need to get past it. I don't like myself. I don't like the weight I gain. It's hard for me to do clothing hauls. My clothes are getting too tight. I don't feel my best when I present what I want to present in my clothing hauls. And that's just where I am today. But I made a decision to take my life back because I have a lot to be thankful for. I have a beautiful home, cars. I have a beautiful husband that is so patient with my bull right now. He maybe don't even understand what I'm going through, but he's being patient with me. So this is where I am. This is where I am. For those who can get on YouTube and feeling bad and make themselves look good, kudos to you. Because it's hard for me to get on here and pretend. I can't give y'all my best if I'm not at my best. I just can't. But I have to make a decision to get my life back. Feel good about getting dressed up and going out and doing my TikToks and enjoying life because every day life is still life and life is still going past me as I sit here in this corner. So do I just sit here in this corner? I get myself together. So this is day one of me getting myself together because I'm starting to see that I'm going deeper into a depression. I didn't know I was depressed, but I am not happy with myself, not happy with my life right now, but I have to make a decision every day to make some type of change. So today, I cleaned my um, pantry. I have a little small pantry, but it was out of order. The sciatic nerve got my house out of order. I don't have the strength and the pain of the nerve in my hip down my leg is so sharp. I can't do it. I'm going back to the doctor. They gave me a shot and they gave me some pills for inflammation and pain, but it's not working. I still feel it every day that it's making me a mean person and I'm just not happy. And if you was in pain every day, you would understand where I'm coming from because I've been pain every day with this sciatica. But today I made a choice to do something and not just sit in this corner. I got some business done over the phone. I got one little thing done in the house. And honestly, I feel real good about it. So I'm just making steps to get my life back. And I hope you guys will hold on and tune in. If you see this video, you see it. If you don't, I didn't post it. But this is me talk about my real life and being honest with you guys. It's hard to put out these videos. And I thought once I retired, I was gonna be like popping them, popping them, popping them. But I try to pop them and then I can't be consistent. And being consistent is the key to helping your channel grow. 
getting these TikToks out is the key to helping your channel grow. And I've been doing this for a minute now. And my channel is finally starting to see a lot of love. And now I'm not consistent. And I see my videos dropping a little bit. But it's because I'm dropping. And I just think I owe it to all of my subbies to know I'm just not in a good place. I'm just not. But I'm going to take those steps to get my life back because life is still going on without me. And I want to be a part of it. So I talked to you guys about it. Because I just want that to be transparent and not fake. I don't want my channel to be fake. So that's just where I am right now. And this funk I'm in, it got to go. I don't want to lose my husband behind it. Friends, my channel, family, because I just want to stay in this corner. And I don't want to deal with people. That is a no-no. So today I did a little step to getting myself back. Love you guys. And I'm so happy with the growth of my channel. Stick in there with me. God will have the last answer because I have to pray. I have to be a pray warrior. And I ask that you guys pray for me as well. I don't want to be fake. I want to come back with a vengeance. So, please lift me up in prayer because I need it. I don't want to be fake, phony. I don't want to sit in this corner anymore every day. I want to live my life. See you guys. Thanks for listening.